Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with Tiger Eye and her three pups, Bumblebee, Tahitian, and Rabbit. And we are here, actually, oops, I'm sorry guys, at the rendezvous site. Um, watching Bumblebee wander off toward the woods, apparently. And they are, on average, on at about 16 and a half pounds. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're living pretty good. There's, we can see the creek just down the way. There's, a. Uh, we can see, we, we can feast on beavers whenever we want. Got a nice hill for them to slide down, I guess, if they want to. You know, we're, we're living pretty good. I think Tiger Eye is actually the, uh, the one that's actually struggled the least out of all of them, like, especially since she's, she and Iguana are the best at hunting beavers and are actually the only ones that live anywhere near beavers, so... Rabbit, you guys, you guys are so explorative. Wait a second. Oh, heck no. We need to go check that out. Let's test this. Or, no, seven. And saw that if I barked at him, he'd look for the cougar. Cougar's over there. Go get a iguana. Okay, noted. That does not work. The only reason that the cougar knew we were there because probably couldn't see them from all the way over there and the wind isn't going in the right direction. I think it's because a rabbit wandered into a site. Oh gosh, look at the set of the snowshoe here. Actually, I wonder. I'm gonna, 30 minutes ago, one hour ago, I wonder if she came out. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the smell of the, um, Prospect Peak. I wonder if, um, sh she came out because of the, uh, the scent of rabbit. Or of snowshoe hair. <laughs> and was curious about it because, if I remember correctly, um, she actually... No, it was, um... Yeah, I think she is not particularly fond of any food that is not rabbit. Hmm. Smell grizzly bear, but we can also smell prospect peak, which I suppose is understandable considering they're fortifying their boundaries over in this direction. Snatch up the rest of his elk. What's over here? Actually, he was probably the one that hunted down the elk, honestly. Look at Dagger Eye just shoving her head into it. Oh, the cougar. Poor cougar. You know, I should do a challenge where, like, uh, with the deaf wolf, for example, she could never hear how anybody was, so, like, she couldn't see the weight or hunger or health of anybody. Oh gosh, that'd be fun. Don't know why I'm saying she. Oh, okay.
Oh yeah, we actually completed Ebony's thing, so I don't have to constantly swap back and forth. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure why Ebony got such a big boost. Like, they were here. Looks like we actually went up toward these hexes, which like we just reinforced. Looks like they're actually heading straight through our territory. Kinda seems like they came from over here and then decided to cross through our territory to get over there. You know, I'm wondering what it would be like to have a territory like that where it's not just one big thing, but where like it curved like a crescent. That should be one of our um, challenges to have like a crescent territory. So it's like, we could risk going through someone else's territory, or we could take the longer way and go around. Oh, but now they're heading back toward our territory. minutes. They're hunting elk on our territory. The elk are just standing there. Looks kind of like ebony actually, both of them do. over there. Uh, we could hunt, but we're actually not all that hungry since we spotted. Let's see. Like, the elk are completely unfazed. It's like, okay, those wolves weren't supposed to be here. These wolves are like three F and two uh, sisters. All right, let's go. <laughs> I love how the fight didn't even like agitate them at all, but then like us running just a little bit by made them so uneasy that like they started to trot ahead just in case we ch did charge at them. I guess we're not going to uh, attack elk if we're attacking each other. Something or near it. You no, know, our home is like right down here, wasn't it? Yeah, there's the crack in the wall where our pups were born. Oh, this rocky peak. I believe. I mean, beavers are funner. I 
been honestly possibly easier for them to hunt, but I don't think they'd say no to skimming the grass for some extra food. No run. Oh geez, those are bison. Great, I forget. We're not an emerald. We're on Tiger Eye, who is rather terrified of Basin. Especially, probably, after hearing what happened to her cousin. What cousin is it if, um, if your cousin, like, between three generations? gonna eat that? <gasps> Bumblebee! So, I think bumblebees like rabbit, where are you going? Okay, your food is a hundred percent. Yeah, I don't think any of them are entirely interested in mule deer. I think They've been raised on beaver, and so, for the most part, and so they prefer that. Alright, guys. Back inside. Because Mama needs a nap, and I think Tiger is gonna sleep by Rabbit, because Rabbit isn't sleeping with anybody. So, yeah. All their territory up there is super fortified. Uh, I would say we could go down and claim that if we wanted to, but A, not too much of a point, although we could probably find where um, <coughs> Tiger was raised. I'm pretty sure it was on the gravel fan. Or... And also, we might attract the wrath of the Junction Butte pack, because they haven't been bugging us at all, so really, why should we bug them? Inter so, basically, we don't want to stir up trouble where trouble doesn't need to be stirred. Um, I think we're gonna go on a nice little trip, see if we can grab a beaver for Tiger Eye and Iguana to snack on uh, after they eat. Look, it's almost like he's inviting her to go hunting with him. And if we can't find any beavers, because this is not their time of day, although sometimes beavers do wake. <gasps> oh, look at them. They've all got orange eyes. <laughs> oh, it looks like, you know, I could see them. Oh, uh, Stahitian. That was rabbit for some reason. I could see them all being like a family meal type of wolves. Why are you so explorative, rabbit? I think all of them have like that, um, that streak of adventurousness. And, like, I think all of them are already kind of more naturally drawn to beaver because that's what I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> because that's what, uh, 
Iguana and Tiger Eye have raised them on, like literally since they could eat carcasses and before. <laughs> actually. Ooh, actually. Could go down the way. Okay. See, I honestly don't think there will be any out. But I'm not going to not look. So. That's a cougar. That's a cooler. Um, okay. That's where did we find Emerald's cooler? Cause it was over by the crystal pond, not. Okay, I guess multiple plastic coolers can be dropped in an area. Well, I honestly think, I think we're gonna bring this back. Because I think uh, Iguana might warn her against it, because like, I think Iguana would be a tad more wary of it. But I think Tiger Eye would be curious and would kind of want to give it to the pups to see if they wanted to sniff at it or play with it or anything like that. <laughs> Do he deems already up? Not waiting for any orders or anything, as usual. It's just like, I hope there's no predators coming back with you, Mom. <laughs> See, I kind of feel like Tahitian came out first, because I feel like Tahitian would be really curious about it. Yeah, look at it. Or look at him. He's even looking at it. See, I think now, jeez, rabbit just does not like other, other wolves. See, I think now, um, Tiger Eye might want to go out and explore for like other weird things. Iguana coming. Yeah, Iguana's probably like, I gotta come to make sure you don't get killed or whatever. I think it could go over toward the gravel fan, actually. I think that would be Tiger Eye's first, like, um, area that she'd choose to go to look for things, because, you know, it's normal for her. It's a place she knows. So... Granted, it's not really a place Iguana knows, but... There's a pack of three coyotes there. some water while oh, iguana is coming. I wonder why 
there's just a bunch of rocks here. Ooh, what if there's like um, a den over here? I didn't know about. Like, I doubt it. But still, like, why else would there just be a bunch of rocks lying around? Hmm. No water here, huh? And let's go upstream and find out why. Okay. On a bison scent upstream. Jeez. Okay, and now the stream is like non existent, so that was pointless, but this is the grab fan. So. There's that! Oh my gosh. Uh, it's just a cougar vibing. No. Let's see. Those are just basin scents. <sighs> Not anything new. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. What's this? What's that? Is that a rabbit? I also take a rabbit. No, that's a crow. See this? This is very obviously not natural, so I think Tiger Eye is gonna come down and explore it. And I just realized we're in Junction Butte territory. Well, honestly, we're just exploring and not really doing any harm. We're actually running back into our own territory anyway. Yep, so. I think Iguana is kind of further behind because he's probably a little more unsure about just leaping into trying to discover where the mysterious object came from. Oh, maybe that's why the stream isn't there anymore. Oh, stream's definitely here though. This path goes on for a long way. Come on. <sighs> Maybe we should have grabbed that snick. Yeah, Iguana probably would have appreciated it. Prospect Peak territory here fairly soon, actually. Slow Creek campsite sign, a sign for those who don't know where they are. Interesting. I think, like, Iguana might have just started talking her into giving up on following the path, but then she'd find that, and she, he'd be like, ooh, unfamiliar scent, because, as you guys may or may not remember, um, 
her quest is that if she smells a new scent, like a scent that she's never smelled before, um, <coughs> she has to follow that scent to its source. So although, so although there's not any actual human scent on this, like in the game, because humans don't have scent in this game, uh, there would definitely be at least some human scent on this. So, especially since it's summer, so she would have to follow it. Oh, reach the edge of the map, huh? I'm serious guys, I'm sorry, although we can go ahead and now see, explore, we've got the cooler, and we've got the campsite sign, which is nice, so, we're definitely not going to mess with this territory unless they mess with us, so. Prospect Peekwolves like invaded her territory to hunt and then she's in their territory and they have absolutely no idea which to be fair why would they considering they're putting all their energy and resources into probably keeping this out of the grasp of Crevice Lake although it does look like Crevice Lake is actually recovering really really well um, from Breeze a couple generations ago, and so they're pushing hard into Junction Butte, which I will admit I'm a tad worried about that, because that means they may start trying to push up into our territory um, to make up for it, but that's definitely not a worry um, <laughs> that Tiger I would have, or if she did, she probably, if she even did notice the whole thing, she probably wouldn't even think about it, so. Or, like, think to worry about it. at some point we're going to run into a fawn or a calf on accident. I think we actually passed the sign. Yeah. Pretty much guaranteed that we did. I was actually rather startled because from afar it did look kind of like a human so I'm like, oh no. Is this how Tiger I dies? <laughs> Are you, are you sh is Tigray and her mate going to die and then you're going to have to get uh, one of Tigray's siblings to lead the Goldstone Pack? <laughs> Which honestly would probably be Marvel. Because I was always, Marvel was always the uh the backup because i knew pretty much from the get-go that i was going to choose tiger eye oh jeez so when tiger eye fell sick i had to like think about okay who would i choose if tiger eye died and so i thought marble I was always very fond of Marble. I always found Marble as like the therapist be between the pups. <laughs> Gosh, it's so much easier to keep track and, and love all of them. With only three pups. And like two or three pups per litter. 
because then you get to know them all on a more personal level like having seven pups it's great but it's so much to keep track of and you have so much to constantly do that you can't know your pups at least not on the level you'd know your pups otherwise oh boy we might run into some trouble here but hopefully not Ooh, especially considering Tiger is the one stamina and honestly she's a pretty sucky fighter most of the time although she and Iguana did do really well in taking out or uh, chasing off the um, Prospect Peak Wolves <coughs> just bears Definitely leaving those alone. Goodness, why does it seem like there's so much more life down here? Near this trail. And well, honestly, why don't we ever live in this little section? Like we've lived in First Meadow, McBride Lake, sort of over here. Like we never live in this little area. Over here-ish. I don't actually think there's um thing over there. Like dens over there. That's probably that's possibly why. I am a little worried. Because unlike when we were in Junction View or the Prospect Peak territory, this is actually a really fresh hex, which honestly if this keeps going the way it is, which it looks like it will, we're probably going to be safer, because we'll be in a much weaker hex, but still. <coughs> there we go. Okay. Feels a little bit better. Although I feel like Tiger Eye wouldn't even notice, she'd probably be very um, fixated on unfollowing the scent because that was also the rule like you can't just switch off to another scent she'd be very fixated on one mainly so it's like I'm not bouncing back and forth and like I never get anything done Ooh. oh geez okay this one's very fresh Plus, it's right next to a 100% hex. Two 100% hexes, actually. Jeez Louise. Territory is getting dug into. Our affinity is actually really going down. We're fall we have followed this really far. See, I think if you see Iguana there, I think he's at this point trying to be like, hey, like, we've been gone for a very long time and we have traveled super far. Like, we might, like, we should go back now. See, so like, if Iguana didn't come, Tiger would have been off doing this for ages like she would not stop what am i gonna shed this year round honestly i thought it was a dead snake for a second oh wow see and then that would reignite her curiosity so what we're going to do is if she see if she gets attacked by wolves or something oh look bears if she gets attacked by wolves or something then i think that snap her into oh right like we need to go home but since she at the moment isn't i'm going to pull up a random generator 
to see um, if Iguana manages to convince her. Stopping. We have a nice little conversation. And since she just found something new, it's going to be a bit harder. And she does. Barely, barely, barely. So now, actually, I think now she's realizing, oh shoot, like, I have to cut through Crevice Lake territory if I want to get back to my pups in time. And also, like, if you look at that, oh boy. Yeah. Someone is digging into our territory, and I'm guessing it's Prospect Peak for what we did earlier. And the fact that we've been gone for so long has not helped, I don't think. Okay, I'm gonna see Iguana. You probably... Do you walk? Yes, you just go on a pleasant walk. Okay. Iguana. Can I get you to come back with me? Yes, okay. So... Oops. We really need to not run into any wolves. Toy shovel. Oh, yes, thank goodness. Huh. Den digger for clawless animals. She's got something new and interesting to bring back to the pups, in addition to stories and such. So yeah. If we run into any crevice like wolves, the plan is simply to run as fast as we possibly can. And honestly, we're possibly going to curve around that just to make sure, although that might be risky because that has that has gone up for sure and that has gone down very rapidly when it should not have iguana quit it <coughs> Jeez, my smell anything, but they might come to investigate the shovel scent, so we have to be extremely careful. Actually, oh wow, isn't this the way, yeah, this is the way Thornado came from first to second meadow, and here we are, taking risks that might do to us, what's staying out for so long just for territory to him. I don't think they will venture out on their own, especially since we've been gone for so long, but because they are definitely hungry and fully awake and probably really restless and bored. They might come out at the very least to take a nibble on the food. And with no parents to protect them. Oh no. Shoot. That's what I was afraid of. going to do is I'm going to need to pace Tiger Eye so we don't fully run out of stamina. Oh, we're almost there. Why are you guys 
this in here. Should make it like just over this river. Hey, we're on our territory now. Why aren't you going up? Come back. You guys actually. <laughs> we have pups. We need to get back to them now. Together, tiger eye and iguana actually really. Hey, why are you guys going that way? That way's further into our territory, you dingbat. If you turn around, okay. we don't have time to do our victory howls, although it might have helped with that. We need to get to like the center of our territory pretty much now. Especially since we were all the way over by like a little beat. We have no time to waste at all. See, we might have Tiger Eye explore that in the future, but like just kind of cut across or something. So I feel like the curiosity would never leave her mind. Or, alternatively, we could have uh, one of her pups, like Tahitian perhaps, because he seemed the most interested in the cooler thing, dedicate their lives to discovering all these human-y things and figuring out what the scents are and what all of it leads to. We could have a, um, a quest that's like, collect all the human objects, or find all the landmarks, or find all of the, huh, interesting, or find all of the human related things, so you'd get like, oh gosh. Yeah, okay, the whole human thing might have to stretch ac across multiple generations, actually. Gosh, because it's a lot of them. I would say let's go hit the territory hex first, but if they leave and the wolves are still there, or not even just the wolves, like any predator is still there, then... That could be dangerous. That could kill them. <laughs> Here's the Tri River that started all of that. Well, not that started it, but that led us to discover the trail. The path. That's where the sky water was. It is about time for the beavers to be waking up, and ordinarily I'd say, Hey, let's sit and wait for some beavers. I think that's... Actually, might be one of the trails that we vibed at, but... Like that one. But, you know... Ah! She seriously just, like, kick the shovel right out of our mouths. We need to make sure we're not going to lose the shovel. <laughs> there we are, over there. We're 
from us there. Yes, yes, yes. We're almost home. How good she looks like that, especially with the heat iguana in the background. I wonder if they'll play with it. It's apparently with some objects, uh, they will play. So I think we're going to get there. We're going to let them eat. Jeez Louise, they hecking grew while we were gone. Uh, Possibly play with them a bit. Uh, we'll howl some. Mm, yeah. I think Rabbit rather likes the mule deer stuff. Or she doesn't like it. I'm just kind of feeling. Dahitian. Honestly. I kind of think Tahitian would be the one to, um, to dedicate his life to helping to, like, uncover the mysteries of the people. And, uh, okay, as they leave, never mind. Although we are going to howl and we are going to watch and make sure that that doesn't bring them back. If the pups howl that night. Bumblebee. Goodness. You know, if Bumblebee had managed to wander off, I actually think she already has. Or he already has. And Mark, like. Oh! Wait a second. Rabbit is actually the one playing with it. Maybe a Rabbit would actually be the one. Out of all three of them, Rabbit's the only one that's ever. Yeah, that's actually picking it up. Tahitian's more interested in a stick. Bumblebee! She's like, hi, Mom! Anyways guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Let me know if you think um, one of our pups' life quests should be dedicated to like discovering human things and objects and landmarks. And if so, which out of these three do you think it should be? And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.